Hi everybody, so welcome back. Um, it's me Ryan, if you guys don't all know, and I'm getting ready for work right now. I'm not really in a rush today because I got good sleep, but I did get off a graveyard shift today. But I did want to talk to you guys about the product that I know you guys saw me get. Hold on, I got a text message and that was irritating me. Um, so I know I've been seeing a lot on TikTok, you know, body scrubs, body things like that. Hold on, let me put lotion on my face because I feel like I'm like drying up right now. By the way, it's the lotion I use for my face and their um, cleaning products too. This is what helps make my face. Right now I'm breaking out though. Um, it's because of those masks we have to wear to work. And they are not helping at all, which I hate. It sucks because then you have like these little breakouts. And I'm getting it like right here on my, by my mouth, which I normally never break out by my mouth by the way. Most I ever break out is either right here on my cheeks or like right here on the side of my eyebrows, which I have right there. I'm letting the face wash do its thing because I'm not trying to mess with it. Anyways, I just got out of the shower, so my hair is a little frizzy and wet in a way. So we're gonna get ready, and then I want to talk about, like I said, this Ultra Body Scrub. Not this one specifically. I guess all body scrubs because they are magnificent. I never did body scrubs before, but I kept watching TikTok and I just kept seeing like. Oh, like, oh, girls, like, um, make little videos with their body scrub and shaving their legs and how to make them soft using baby oil, too. And I was like, you know what? I like having my legs soft just for me because I can't stand prickly hairs on my leg by myself. I can't even sleep if I feel like my legs are prickly. So if I can't sleep if my legs feel prickly, I don't know, that's just me. I just like to feel clean and I like to be baby soft. So about that body scrub, so when I went to Ulta that one time, I thought, hey, let me try it, let me see what everybody's talking about. Ever since I used this body scrub, my legs are really softer, they feel smoother, and it has like, you know, a body scrub, I guess it's to exfoliate your skin, and it does. I'm not really bad. Um, anyways, I love it. I'm gonna start doing that more, but I have a question, okay? Do all these things come in small packages, like, this because that's not fair and I know this is expensive I forgot how much I actually paid for this I think it was just, no it was 12 bucks I remember now so I don't think it's fair that they come in this small I mean maybe they do sell bigger size and add the look and they're not specifically at Ulta I'm pretty sure they have them everywhere else like Target Target and like Walgreens or whatever so I have to go look over there and Anyway, so I love this, right? I want to get more of this, but do they come in a bigger package? Because I don't, I mean, I've used this for like a week. Let's, yeah, let's just say a week. Sometimes I didn't use it because I was like, you know, I already used it the last day, but I kind of like using it every day. And it smells so good. Like, ooh, is this, it smells like coconut and vanilla, which it is, but that's what it is. Coconut and vanilla scrub, but it's a sugar scrub. That's what it looks like in the inside. It's like a gooeyness. But, um, and it has those little hard, little like rocks, I guess you could say, or like hardness to it. So when you scrub it, that's the part that's probably exfoliating your skin and like, you know, helps you get all the extra dead skin and dirt off your body. So I use it. It's a very good product. I love it. I can't wait to go get more. I just wish they come in a bigger like package because what I've seen so far is that they only come in like small like this and this only basically lasted me for a week let alone me spreading it out and not using it every single day so i was just like okay let me get my mini mirror so i i really love it and i'm happy that i got to try it and you know what tiktok was right it works it makes your skin all soft it makes you feel cute and beautiful and it's just another treat for us ladies out there to start using so i agree oh and another thing i've been trying from tiktok which I don't know if it's true or not, and I don't know if it's just in my head, but I think it's working, so it works. I've been, I never really had dandruff, okay? So I never really had dandruff. And I was watching TikTok, and then they didn't say it cures dandruff, but for me, it kind of helped my scalp a lot, um, which probably makes sense, because conditioner can do that. So I normally have dandruff right here, and I noticed it, and it started getting worse, and I was like, oh, what is going to be? thoughts because at first I kept changing my shampoo and conditioners that I was using and my shampoo and conditioners that I kept on using were different brands like Dove, the dollar store ones which is nothing wrong with any of this um don't use the dollar store I think it was Save, Save, something like that I can't remember the name but I used to use different shampoo and conditioner bottles all the time I wouldn't stick to just one brand on my hair so I would always change it up and the only reason why, because I was trying to find the right one that made my hair um, 
feel like the way it feels and also so this frizziness is maintained especially when I comb it because I'll get frizziness all the way down and I, nobody likes frizzy hair um, and then so the other TikTok tip I saw was like hey so shampoo I only use it to put it on the top of my head and just scrub it and then they would use conditioner for the bottom half of your hair which is all the way down so basically I would put all the way down from here just, just conditioner and then all the way rest up here I would use shampoo so when I do that um, when I started doing that and I've been doing that for a month now um, well month, a month and a half going into the second month since I saw that TikTok and I was like you know what, let me try it because my scalp's been really irritated lately and not itchy but I noticed that there's like you know some dandruff showing up and I was like, let me try this because I've been trying dandruff shampoo and all that and it's just not giving me the result right away that I want. And plus, it's, it doesn't, it's not working out and it's kind of drying out my head, I feel like, more. Ever since I tried this tip, it works great. It's working great for my scalp and um, getting rid of my dandruff. I have no longer not much dan not any dandruff at all because I used to like lift my hair back like this and you would see little flakes right here. And I was like, what? That's not attractive. That's not cute. Like, I didn't like it. It just threw my whole vibe off because I was like, oh, I feel embarrassed. And then plus, at work, I put my hair in a ponytail, so it just wasn't working even more. So that's another tip I found on TikTok that I thought was really, really cool that I wanted to share with you guys. Maybe you guys could try it too. Maybe it works out for you if you're struggling for dandruff. Or if you guys have any tips about that, let me know. But so far, I've been doing my research and I've been trying um, head and shoulders. Uh, dandruff and then I do use um, Dove shampoo but then I just started to use that tip which is just shampoo the top and condition the bottom of half of your hair um, so so far that is what's been working for me and I'm gonna keep doing it cuz you know it works and I'm getting the results I want for myself and it's just another daily beauty routine to add oh whoa that eyelash came out like spiky oh, okay by the way, if you guys ever wonder what kind of mascara I'm using, it's CoverGirl. And they I've been using CoverGirl for a while, like ever since high school, to the clear mascara, because I wasn't allowed to really to wear makeup when I was younger. I didn't start wearing makeup until high school. So which is probably why I'm a little behind on how to do everything. I think that's the longest I got my eyelashes. And I never wear eyelash extensions, let alone fake eyelash. Okay, the hair. Can you get out of the way? Okay. Things my eyelashes used to be short. And I noticed when I use this certain cover girl, I think it is this one. It's a little rubbed off. So um oh my god, it's falling out. I should have blinked. Now I have stuff underneath my eye because I blinked. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Don't blink. Stay idle okay, like this. Okay, let me get a makeup white so we can fix that. Or this is why I use these actually. Cute tip. Um, so like I was saying, I use CoverGirl and I noticed that there's one, I can't remember the specific name of it, but I remember the packaging. Okay, so the packaging is this. I'll put a picture. The packaging's like um this. Um C has like a avocado on it and like oil, so it has like natural oils in it and it's helped my eyelashes grow a lot because my eyelashes weren't really this long and um, obviously um, now they're even longer which I love because I don't really wear fake false eyelashes or fake eyelashes um, that's just something that I just don't do so when I, my eyelashes are long like this I just love it because it makes me look awake especially when I have a mask on so this is what people see is my long eyelashes and I love it um, so I recommend you guys trying that and if you guys have short eyelashes and you want to get yours to grow. Um, this one by the way, the CoverGirl Super Sizer um, Hydration. This is the one that I use right now to make it like this. So this is another one that I'm leaning towards that I just bought from Target that I was like, oh, I love the results I'm getting with this because it just swoops them up real fast. Obviously I do this one first because this is the one with the coconut oil. And stuff but I love CoverGirl and I really don't have much fallout with them throughout the day so I love that too so let's just go with my sheet we're gonna go with this which is like a pink oh that's still a little bright now we can use a little color though I just like playing around with these and then pick out a lip liner Oops. 
There we go. Ooh, that's a pretty shade. I haven't even, I think I've worn this one yet, actually. It's bright too. Let me get a paper. Because it takes a while to dry, I smell. I just pat it. Wow, I'm really surprised by this color because I thought I wore it already, but I guess this is the one I haven't worn yet because I got, wait, how much did I order? One, two, three. I ordered four of these. She Glams, um, right? She Glams from Shein website, the Shein website. And these ones, I was like, I wanted more natural colors or like um, nudes. So these are all more like browns and like different colors, like a purplish. Um, this one's like a, um, what is it? Like a grayish purple. So it's not too intense, but it has a little color. This one's more like a brown, which is like super cute and nude um, like. And then this one definitely is a darker brown that I love as well but just brings a little bit of color so it doesn't blend into my skin type that well so that's why I love these ones but I guess I haven't tried this one really because I was just more into the nudes anyways this one on She Glam is called Mama Jo I'm gonna say it's Mama Jo I'll leave a link down below for this lipstick guys so you guys could see it for yourself but they have a bunch on there and they're pretty cheap and also they work pretty well, they're matte, they do stay on for a period of time, and they're not bad at all. And I was really surprised when I bought these, but these are well worth it. Um, lipsticks. And I'm glad I did purchase them, and I'll be purchasing them again. Um, anyways, so besides all of that, um, I just wanted to, to give you guys a talk with me about things I tried on TikTok, even though it was just two things. I haven't really tried much more than that. Um, I just want to talk to you guys before I headed out to work. And I thought, why don't we get ready together and I tell you guys about the TikTok tips I learned and how they worked out for me. Fell in love with using that body scrub, so I'm going to be using that way more often because I just love the result I got and the feeling and the smell of it. It just made me feel all nice and pretty. So, um, and obviously like the tip I use, I know my hair is a mess right now, but it's just going to be like that for a while. I like how I got that tip from the shampoo and conditioner because it actually works and I love it and it helped maintain my dandruff so i'm super happy about that because other than that guys thank you so much for watching this short clip i just wanted to share this with you and have you guys get ready with me because why not other than that guys have an awesome day and i'll see you later